What is up everyone? My name is Sebs and it's that time of the month again. It's time for another haul, but before we get into it, I have two things that I want to address. Now first of all, we have reached 300 subscribers on this channel and I am just mind blown of this. Thank you all for subscribing, liking, commenting, and just being a part of my little YouTube uh, journey. It's I'm having a lot of fun and uh, if you guys are having fun too, then that is just all the reward I need. God damn, I'm having fun and I hope you all are having fun too. And the second point today, this haul would not be possible without my awesome friends and my awesome viewers out there. Half of the stuff right here, well most of the stuff right here, wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for you guys. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I This channel would not be possible without all of you out there. So, let's get into it. So starting today off, I actually got a couple of McDonald's Nintendo toys right here. And I actually got them from a friend whose kids were uh, cleaning out some of their toys and uh, while I was visiting they kind of figured out that I love Nintendo stuff so the kids actually went and got me these and uh, I actually have a whole pile of uh, duos for them too but like, wow, kids are super nice. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go Swedish for a bit. Hey Zelda, hey Jason, tack så hemskt mycket. And back to English. So these cluster duos, I uh, I freaking adore them. I like how uh, how uh, McDonald's has gone into like a, f a partnership with Nintendo to actually create some of these toys. I mean, this this Yoshi right here is kind of funny with the tongue and stuff, and the uh, spinning uh, Luigi right here is also pretty funny. I mean, it's it's pulled straight from the games, and I mean, I can't ask for anything else than that. So, moving on, I was visiting another friend and uh, while I was there, he kind of remembered that he had a couple of games stashed in the attic, so we actually climbed up there, got the bag down and went through the games and uh, we actually find some really cool ones. So let's start off with this one, because this is kind of outside of the uh, collectors, well the collection right here, but like, first off, we have a platinum edition of Destruction Derby, now unfortunately it's pretty beat up, but uh, it's not as beat up as it can't be repaired, so I'm probably gonna send this to one of them disc repair shops, because Destruction Derby is fun. And next to Destruction Derby, let's put it over there, we have a manual and a front label for Diablo, uh, the original on the PlayStation. Now. Unfortunately, I'm missing cover, game, and uh, backside and everything, but moving on to this little pile, right here, we actually found when we were up in the attic a full edition of Diablo 1 for the PlayStation 1. And now this is actually pretty fun when it comes to the, oh, Jesus, when it comes to the PAL edition because in Sweden, we actually had a translation to Swedish. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that stuff is like the ugliest voiceover ever, and it's so bad, it's actually pretty funny. So, playing through the original Diablo in Swedish is just awesome. Anyways, it's a full edition, so right here we got the front and the back looks pr pretty good, if you ask me. And inside, let's get it open without destroying the jewel case. There we go. And inside we have another manual and a pretty good looking CD right here. So uh, I'm very happy about this one because this is going to bring back a lot of memories from uh, actually playing there. I played it so much on the original PlayStation. So uh, this is this is a real kick in the memory center. Anyways, next up we actually have another game that I've played so much during my youth. It's Theme Hospital for the original PlayStation. And inside, unfortunately, we don't have a manual, but the game is inside. And uh, 
currently I'm actually playing like a uh, spiritual successor to this game that I, I freaking adore and I if you like this game do check out Two Point Hospital because that game is just freaking amazing. A very good spiritual successor to this awesome game from well rest in peace Bullfrog but from the old Bullfrog company that EA killed. Screw you EA. Oh, next up, we have a classic in my book, Tomb Raider 3. And now this is actually not a series that I played personally. I was sitting behind a friend uh, who actually went through basically most of the games uh, and I was watching. So I've, I've, I've had a good outlook on the story and uh, what the game's all about. I just haven't played it myself. I was always the observer when it came to these games. And I didn't mind because they're pretty cool to uh, look at also. Anyways, inside, missing a manual, but we have the game right there. Next up, we have, unfortunately, a game that I already have, but I think it's kind of cool when you get it in the, like, a little bit special jewel cases. I think, now, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think the earlier editions of PlayStation games came in this special UL cases. And right here we have Die Hard Trilogy, a game that I have right there, but still cool uh, jewel case. Anyways, inside we actually have two, weird enough, two editions of this game. Now, uh, I'm guessing the reason for this is because me and that friend that gave me all those games, and by the way, hi Seba, um, we played th this game a lot. We were huge Die Hard fans, and uh, the Die Hard Trilogy game pack with all three games, we actually went through all of them, and we had a blast doing it. So, another jab into nostalgia right there, and I, I freaking love it. Next up, we have a classic, and one of the games that got a... Uh, pretty high rating when it came to uh, the age rating. This was the first game that I played that had like a strict 18 age rating. Carmageddon for the original PlayStation. And the reason this game got this age restriction on it is because it's super violent and I love it. You're basically doing races and you don't care about what's in the way. If there's a cow, you hit it. If there's humans, you just blast over them. You can get like different items on your car that will like splash them up even more. I, I freaking love the Carmageddon games and unfortunately you haven't seen anything like this in years actually. So uh, inside this is actually a complete edition because right here we have a manual and right there is the game. And uh, I usually don't like what they put on the CDs, the art that they put on the CDs, but I, I freaking adore this one, so uh, good job right there. And the last game in the little PSX or PlayStation 1 pile, we have a game that does not have a front, unfortunately, but the rest is there. We actually have a back and we have a side. This is Medieval the original on the original PlayStation, and this is a classic. I freaking adore the medieval games. Really fun platforming action adventure games or whatever you... There, there are a lot of stuff, these games, and I freaking adore them. They're, they're really fun. Anyways, we also get inside something called a Demo 1, and the PlayStation 1 was famous for its awesome demo discs. I'm guessing, like, Probably 70% out of all the games that I've played on the PlayStation was from the demo discs and uh, it was a surefire way to know if a game was good or not. So uh, I, I loved what they did back then with the demos and I just wish that game companies would reintroduce that thing instead of just saying, here, play the demo, but it, we're calling it a beta or whatever. <laughs> all right, so next up, we have a collector's edition, a collector's edition that I kind of went just straight ahead into, which I promised myself to stop doing, but this one is, uh, yeah, I didn't even need to think about it. Let's see here. I got the collector's edition for Spider-Man and well, there you go. That's the reason why I didn't even have to think about it. This game, what I've played so far, I think I'm about 60% through it. It's just Amazing. I haven't played as good as a Spider-Man game as this, 
since like the PlayStation 2 and Spider-Man 2, so I am a huge fan of this one, and let's pop it open. So, all right, spinning it around, we do have a spider symbol and the back right there, which is just a regular old back. And right there, another spider symbol. Got all the way around it. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's see if I can do like this, maybe. Success. So let's get that cover out of the way and let's take a look at the box right here. So this is the back. We got Spider-Man doing an awesome web shooting pose which continues out on this side and on that side. So nothing really special about those two and no, nothing on the bottom. But right here is the one that I like the most. Like the plain red with the symbol right there. It's just freaking perfect. Come on. There we go. And let's see, on top we have a little leaflet right here and it says on front of it warning contains spoilers so you've been warned right now and um it's probably gonna spoil me too because i haven't played that much of the story yet i've just blasted through the side missions but anyways spoilers ahead inside here so first off we have the art of the game right here let's flip through it real quick and check out some of the pages let's see we got something right here. I actually can't tell on the camera right now, but we got something right there. Uh, we got Mr. Lee right here, different poses and different outfits. Well, not outfits, but yeah. And Wilson Fisk, the Kingpin. I've always been a huge fan of uh, the art books, so I'm definitely gonna flip through this one and have a good old look at it. Next up, we have the Steelbook game cover for this game, and I think this just looks perfect. A plain red with the symbol, it's just nothing else needed, it's perfect. And inside, we have the game and a leaf, another leaflet and the instructions beneath that. Getting that out of the way, we have one of these little vouchers, so I'm gonna cover the code right there with my hand, and uh, that's basically the season pass, I think, I don't remember exactly but yeah let's get to the fun stuff so warning again this is the spoiler so if you haven't played the game just go on ahead a little bit I'll, I'll leave a timestamp or something where you can click so popping this thing open all right we're gonna have to sit up a little and let's see Right. This looks pretty damn cool. Let's get him out of there. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. I I like this. Let's get that stuff out of the way and take a look at this freaking thing. So I can see like stuff from a bunch of bad guys right here for example that's a suit from the shocker if i'm not mistaken right here we have a wing from uh holy crap i can't remember his name I'll, I'll put the name right there we have the wing from that guy we have like arms from i think that's scorpions like uh stinger or something which is kind of cool uh what else do we have we have rhino's head right here well helmet and that, this thing like right here looks like a Dr. Octopus Claw, which combines with this thing right here. This is freaking amazing. I mean, I could probably look at this thing and find, find even more details going through it, but wow. I am impressed. This is a beautiful looking collector statue, and we haven't even taken a look at Spider-Man yet. We've just looked at that base so far. Taking a look at Spider-Man, he's in an awesome pose, typical Spider-Man pose, and I'm loving it. Uh, the new suit that's special for this game that uh, they made especially for this, I, I actually love the new suit, and I, I'm not even playing around with the others. I'm just using this because it's beautiful. 
Anyways, he's, uh, he's standing here ready to punch down with the huge symbol on his chest and the huge symbol on his back. I, I Like I said, I really like the new outfit. Wow, this is a beautiful collector statue. Cool. All right, we have reached the last item of today, and um, I'm not downplaying this one. This this is a cool thing and all, but I'm, I actually think, like, personally, the last item today is the coolest one. And this has actually been in the works for a while, so uh, I'm actually pretty psyched to show all of you this one. So let's get a little bit of the stuff to the side right here, and uh, wha-bam! I got my hands on the S Nintendo Scope 6 or the Super Scope or whatever you want to call it in the box with everything inside except the manual. That's the only thing I'm missing, but I'm hunting it. Anyways, let's pop it open. I think this is so cool. So, it's not just a beautiful box. There's stuff inside. <laughs> so inside we have the bazooka and the game for the bazooka. Now I actually don't remember if they made how many more games they made. I'm this is the only one I've played with the bazooka, so I don't know if they made a lot more. But anyways, so inside we have the bazooka right here. Let's put it like this for a, for a little. No, you don't want to stand. All right, I'll put you down. I'll put you down. Um, and the little scope thingy that you put on it and they were actually nice enough to make it left and right-handed you can uh, put it both right here and right here so I, I really like that the first time I mounted it I actually put it on the wrong way so it's easy, it easily happens but uh, yeah and last in the little box right here we have the receiver which plugs into the SNES controller port and um, I, I don't know if this actually works on the newer televisions because I know the older guns that were released for the NES and the, uh, let's see here, the Sega Master System, uh, they don't work on modern televisions. So I, I, I hope this works because I want to play it. Otherwise, I'll just have to find a CRT and test it out. But this is freaking cool. This, I mean, this is a collector's piece that I've been hunting for a while and I just love the old school Nintendo look of this thing. It's its the gray colors and the red button and everything. It's, it, it screams old school Nintendo. I am loving this peripheral and it's freaking awesome. Anyways, that is all of the items for today. So uh, without any further ado, let's jump back up. Oh, all right. So uh, we got to find a home for this dude right here. It's getting kind of filled back right here. It's, I'm, I'm running out of room, but I'll figure something out because this guy needs to be behind me right here. But for now, I'm going to go and reenact a couple of uh, AVGN moments and uh, yeah. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And until then, blast off. <laughs>